In this video I'm going to look at a technique that we did uh, a year or so ago and it's a technique you need to be able to do for the assessments that take place after Christmas. So the question says, and this is indicated by the title, express the following as a product of prime factors in index form. And they'll give you a number, such as 72. If you want to express 72 as a product of prime factors in index form, let's just go through how you do it. It's the tree sketch method. You take the number 72, so if I write down the number 72, and you simply split it up using branches of a tree into two numbers that multiply together to give 72. It does not matter which two numbers you pick, as long as you don't use 1 and 72. You never use 1 and 72. In this particular instance, I'll use my times tables, because I know that 9 eighths are 72. So I'm going to put 9 and 8 at the end of each branch, because 9 times 8 is 72. At this point, remember, you ask yourself, is this number here a prime number? If it is, that's the end of that branch. Now, 9 is not a prime number, because 9 can carry on and split up into two numbers times together. 3 times 3 gives 9. Remember, we don't use 1 and 9. OK, and now at this point here, we've got the 3 there and the 3 there. 3 times 3 gives you the 9. And 3 is a prime number, so I circle that. That's the end of that branch. The 3 at the end of this branch is also a prime number, so I circle that. So that's the end of the left-hand side of the picture. Let's go back to the beginning. We had 9 eighths are 72. Now let's look at the 8. 8 is not a prime number. So what I do now is I split up the 8 into two further branches. Something times something is 8. I don't use 1 and 8. I'm going to use 4 and 2. 2 itself is a prime number, so I circle it. But 4 is not a prime number, so I carry on and split up the 4 into two further branches. 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 2 a prime number, 2 a prime number, and that's the end of the picture. So now what we do is we're going to write this answer. We take the number 72 and we say it's equal to, and we use these circled values here, which are all factors, and they're all prime factors because they are prime numbers, and the product means you multiply them together. So if I take, and we usually put them in ascending order, so we put the small numbers first. 2 times 2 times 2, 1, 2, 3 of them. And then I times it by a 3 and times it by another 3, like so. Uh, that multiplication sum, that product, is the same as the number 72. And now all you've got to do is put the answer in index form. 1, 2, 3, 2 is there, so it's 2 to the power 3 multiplied by, and there's two threes, so it's 3 to the power 2. So there you go, 72 is the same as 2 cubed times 3 squared. And that means we've expressed 72 as a product, that's a multiplication, of prime factors in index form. Index form means power form. So these are index values, these are power values. There you go, that's the end of the question. Right, so let's do the second question here. I'm going to do these very quickly now. 120. 120, I would say best to split that up into 12 tens. Because it ends in a zero, nice and easy, 12 times 10. 12 is not a prime number, so I'm going to say 4 times 3. You could use 6 times 2. 3 is a prime number, so I'll circle that, but 4 is not. So carry the 4 on to do 2 twos of 4. 2 and 2 are both prime numbers. So I'm happy with that. The 10 go back to here, is not a prime number, so split up the 10 into two numbers. 5, 2 is a 10. 5 times 2 is 10. 2 is a prime number, and 5 is a prime number. So we've ended the picture. So let's write the answer down. 120 is, right, take these circle values, 2, 2, 2, there's three of them, so 2 times 2 times 2, times by, then put the 3, and then the biggest number, the 5, on the end. So 120 is the same as that multiplication sum. Index form, it's 2 to the power 3, 1, 2, 3 of them. And then 3, well there's only 1, 3, so you could put 3 to the power 1, but you don't need to put power 1. 3 on its own means power 1 times 5 to the power 1 or just 5. There you go, that's the answer, answer to number 2. 
Let's have a look at number three. 392, this is a bit harder. So 392. Now that one there is not immediately obvious what times what gives you 392. But I do know it's an even number. So I definitely know that 2 is going to be something that goes into 392. So if we're doing this without a calculator, I'd probably say, let's do this at the side of the page, 392, if I share it by this 2, I'll be able to find this partner number. So I do a box division at the side. 2 into 3 goes once, 1 left over, so carry the 1 on. 2 into 19, well 9 twos are 18, 1 left over. And then 2 into 12, that goes 6 times. So the partner number would be 196. OK, now 2 is a prime number, so I can circle that, and that's the end of that branch. 196 is not a prime number. I can carry on. Well, again, it's uh, an awkward number. It's not in our times tables, so I would say it's an even number, so 2 again will work. 2 times something. So again, let's take the 196 and share it by 2, and it'll give us the partner number. 2 into 1 doesn't go. Carry the 1 on because it hasn't been used. 2 into 19 goes 9 times. 9 twos are 18. 1 left over. 2 into 16 goes 8 times. So the partner is 98. 2 times 98 would give 196. 2 again is a prime number. 98 is not a prime number, so let's split it up again. Now again, 98 is not that nice. So share by 2, box division. 2 into 9 goes 4 times, 4 down carry 1. 2 into 18 goes 9 times. So 2, which again is a prime number, with 49. Make the 98. 49 at long last now is found in the times tables. It's not a prime number because you should know that 7 7s are 49. 7 and 7, 7 times 7, make 49. So there's the end of the picture. That's definitely the hardest question I've done. OK, so the answer will be 392 will be 2 times 2 times 2. And then 7 and 7 times 7 times 7. And in index form, you're going to get 2 to the power 3 times 7 squared. End of question. Let's do number 4. That's the number 375. So 375. Well, again, that's an awkward number, but it ends in a 5, so I definitely know 5 will divide into 375. So 5 times something will give us an answer of 375. To get what the partner number is, you take 375, you do a box division, share by 5. 5 into 3 doesn't go, so carry the 3 on. 5 into 37, well, 7 fives are 35, 2 left over. 5 into 35... So 5 into 25 goes 5 times. 5 times 75 would give 375 then. So here we go, 75 must be the partner. 5 is a prime number, so I circle it, that's the end of that. Now 75 is not a prime number, so it splits up. Now 75 is not too bad, because I hope you can figure this out. If you have 25 and you times it by 3, you get 75. So I won't do a box division for that. OK, so 25 times 3 is 75. 3 is a prime number, so I can finish that. 25 is not a prime number. Split it up into two further branches. And you should know from your tables that 5 times 5 is 25. And 5 times 5, 5 and 5 are both prime numbers. So here we go with the answer. 3, 7, 5 will be... 3 is the smallest times, and then we have a 5, another 5, and another 5. Index form, 3, there's only one of them, times 5 to the power 3. End of question. And the final question I'm going to do, 504. 504, split it up. Well, it's a, an awkward number again, but it's an even number, so I definitely know 2 will work. So 504, if I share by 2, I'll find the partner. 2 into 5 goes twice, 2 twos are 4, 1 left over. 2 into 10 goes 5 times. Nothing left over. 2 into 4 goes twice. So the partner number is 252. That's a prime number. 2 is a prime number, so we end that branch. 252 isn't, so I need to carry on. 
Now, again, it's an even number, so 2 will work, which again is a prime number. And then 2 times something gives you 252. Well, you could do another side box division, or perhaps you can do this in your head. 126, if you double it, gets 252. So I'll just do that. 126, again, is not a prime number, because 2 times, well, either a box division or do it in your head, 2 times 63 will give you 126. 2 is a prime number. We're nearly finished. 63 is in your times tables. You should know that 7 nines are 63. 7 is a prime number. I circle it. And then finally, now I've run out of space, so I'll do it at the side. 3 is not a prime number because 3 times 3 will be 9, and 3 and the 3 are then prime numbers. So finally, we get the answer 504 is the same as 222, 2, 2 times 2 times 2, that's the product, times 3 times 3, so product of these factors, prime factors, and then we've got a 7, don't forget, times by 7. In index form, 2 to the power 3, 1, 2, 3 of them, times 3 to the power 2, 1, 2 of them, times 7. And there's the answer, 504 is the same as that product of prime factors in index form. And that's the end of this worksheet.